All right, and we'll get you that right package in just a few minutes. But we are turning from travel to business now. Today is Women's Entrepreneurship Day, an opportunity to shed light on women who run their companies and who are taking pretty big risks. And that's a growing number of entrepreneurs in the U.S. About 20% of companies, or 1.2 million, are owned by women in the U.S. right now. That's according to census data. Among them is one woman, one woman who upended her career path to follow her passion and create a new market for women consumers excited about the tequila space. And I'm really excited to have Mara Smith, founder of Inspiro Tequila, joining us now from Chicago. Uh, Mara, thank you so much for being here. So have to ask you first about what has your entrepreneurship journey been like? Uh, Inspiro is only a, a few months uh, old on the market. So, so what's it been like for you to get it out there? Yeah, well, it's been it's been 20 months in the making to get it to that point because um, there's a, a lot of planning that's involved and an entire production process that had to happen in Mexico to get it to that point. So um, it's been really exciting with obviously lots of ups and downs. And like us, we are dealing with the major supply chain issues that so many people are managing right now. But a really exciting and and great uh, learning process for me because this is my first entrepreneurial journey. Yeah, and Mara, I want to get to the supply chain uh, issues just in a minute, but you went from being a lawyer to then diving into the tequila industry. Why make that pivot? So I practiced law for a number of years. I also worked in corporate strategy after that at a Fortune 100 company, which I think kind of sparked a little more of my entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, because we were focused on looking at consumer insights and trends and coming up with new ideas. Um, and after that, I actually have been home raising children for a number of years. But the entrepreneurial journey and process has always really intrigued me. I find, always found it fascinating how people start something from scratch and bring it to fruition. So I knew I was always going to start my own company. Um, I guess, why why tequila? But um that's because I became a tequila drinker years ago. I was looking for a gluten-free, clean spirit. And I kept searching for a brand that was additive-free and that had a look, taste, and aroma that appealed to me. I, I didn't find one, so I decided to start Inspiro Tequila. I also thought there was, there was room for innovation and a female perspective in the spirits industry. Can you ex expand on that? Because tequila specifically has really been dominated by men, and we're seeing a lot of celebrities get involved with their own uh, tequila brands. Um, what What is that reimagination that, that you were looking for? I think there are a few things. The One of the things was that I really wanted to create something that's additive-free. So you may not know, but a lot of tequila brands that we, we really like have additives. So I wanted to see if I could create the taste profiles um, that people enjoy without using additives. That was the first part. I also wanted to bring a female perspective, recognizing that there are not very many women owned and operated and created tequila brands. So it was important to me that women are involved in every part of the process from our famous female master distiller creating the taste profiles to the women responsible for getting it on the shelves. Uh, and I think, frankly, we also came up with a unique product offering. Uh, I really wanted a bottle that stood out on the shelves. So we that was the first thing I did was to create this really sleek and sophisticated bottle that's easy to hold and pour. Um, it's 100% agave tequila. Uh, it's an ultra premium tequila that's handcrafted in Jalisco, Mexico. And we, we created this really smooth and sippable Blanco tequila. So I think there's a number of ways that we differentiate ourselves. Well, and you mentioned some of the issues that you've run into, Mara, supply chain. Uh, we're also dealing with inflation. Uh, how specifically have has that affected your business and also uh, your own journey uh, to get your brand on the market? I think supply chain has been a, a major factor. Our battles come from overseas and have to get to Mexico. So things come from China and that production, the glass shortage, um, we've been due to receive bottles for like a month and a half right now, and they're still not there. So there's the issue of our raw materials and then the issue of actually production and um, 
getting that done in Mexico and freight. I mean, shipping is just astronomical. And that has a very major impact on a small new brand when the the shipping costs are so extraordinary. What does that look like, Mara? I mean, what does that major impact look like? And do you have to pass that then down to the consumer? Well, we're trying to, I think we're trying to kind of take as much as that increased cost on ourselves as possible. So we know that there are certain price points that consumers want to be at when they're they're looking for you know tequila, ultra premium tequilas, and especially to actually take the chance and try a new brand. So I think we're hoping that in the future we'll be able to get those costs down, um, especially when we're maybe doing more significant shipments, um, and then we can kind of make up for that at that point. But right now I'd say we're pretty much taking most of the hit on that. And Mara, I mean, I think uh, this is so fascinating that you've been able to do this uh, considering this time. Um, but we're also talking at a time when a lot of people too are, are wanting to change jobs. They're wanting to move their careers, um, you know, do something different. You did that. Um, what piece of advice would you give people who are considering that right now, who want to make the pivot that you made? Is now the right time to do it? I mean, what are the questions that people need to be asking themselves? Uh, I think so. And I think the message also for me is that it's never really too late to pivot or to start something on your own or enter a new industry. I guess my advice is that you have to do the research. You just really have to educate yourself. But there are so many resources out there now that are available to us. Right, there are webinars and podcasts and books and people to follow on LinkedIn that have, you know, great tips. So really kind of there's a way to get yourself up to speed pretty quickly in a new industry. I also think you have to tap into networks. I've been really fortunate to connect with just amazing communities of female founders and leaders who have just offered such incredible guidance and been willing to give me feedback. So I think you really can't do it alone and you need to, to find those networks of people who are there to collaborate and support other female founders. And have you found that a lot of your consumers too are, you know, they care about the story behind the brand because we are also seeing a lot of consumers uh, make that a priority too, how they're buying. I, I wonder how you've seen that, uh, especially because there's such a story behind yours. Yes. And I did this from my perspective. I am a mindful consumer. I'm thoughtful about what I eat and drink, which is why I chose tequila as my drink of choice. And I'm thoughtful about the companies that I purchase from. So I think there are a lot of other consumers out there who feel the same way and want to hear the story about it and want to know that it's an authentic story. Um, I think when people see sometimes when I'm posting things and showing that it's it's, it's truly me sitting on the floor of my dining room packing up boxes. You can see that this is the, you know, authentic, real deal that's happening. And it's not me kind of putting just my name um, on a bottle that I'm involved in every part of the process. And I think people, people want to know that there's an authentic story behind it. Absolutely. Mara Smith, CEO of Inspiro Tequila. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for sharing your story. Really appreciate your time.